So this video is going to be a tad bit shorter than normal because my phone's done. Hold on. Not because my phone's done, but because I've already posted a video today. Um, I'll link it below. It's a day in the life. So I have two videos going up today. I have this video, which is an Amish cookie recipe that I'm going to rename. Um, make you want to turn your butter twice cookie dough because it's that good. <laughs> make Abraham scream. No. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I want to I wanna, I wanna let you guys know that this video is in collaboration with my friend Jesse and my friend Katie and I will have both their channels linked down below in the description box. This is a cookie exchange video that Katie thought up. So when she asked me to do that, I was like, heck y'all girl, I'm down for some cookies. Little did I know, little did I know I'd turn Amish real quick because let me tell you something. They, they're that good. They're that good. My husband literally is eating a bowl full right now. But don't forget, if you haven't seen that other video yet, then go check it out after this one. It's much longer than this one. I, I filmed both of these in one day. Literally the day before you see them. So this is Tuesday right now. You'll see on Wednesday. I filmed both of these suckers. So enjoy. Make sure you try these. If you do, tag me. Let me know because they are so stinking good. All right, so the exact measurements will be topped out below. But y'all, this is the easiest. Look at me. I'm just spooning out a cup of softened butter there because I left it out after dinner and forgot about it. You see? You see? I, I'm innovative. Is that the right word? Innovative. But a mistake can turn into a happy little accident. It was a happy little accident. I left my butter out, but in the end, it helped me. Anyways, you do a cup of butter, a cup of vegetable oil, a cup of powdered sugar, a cup of granulated sugar, and you mix it all together. Now, if I were Amish, this might take a little longer because I'd have to go outside. I'd have to get the cow. I'd have to bring the cow over to the milking station. I'd have to milk the cow. I'd have to get this vanilla out of the cow's manure because did y'all know that imitation vanilla comes from cow manure? I just put that out on Instagram the other day. I'd have to go scope the cow manure for the imitation vanilla. And then I'd have to add the two eggs, but I'd have to go out to the chicken coop first and get the eggs and bring them in and probably get pecked by a chicken in the meantime. And then I'd have to go sift my flour, which where does flour come from oh where does flour come from i don't know but whatever wherever it comes from i have to go there to get it and then i'd have to come back and i'd have to sift it can make it all perfect because you know almost they know how to cook they know how to work and you put those two together and this stuff that's why their stuff comes out so good because they're smart and they're hard working and they know how to cook so then you just stir that around and you slowly add in your flour and, and i can't imagine how hard it would be to do this while amish because uh Fun fact about me, I've always wanted to be Amish. I've always wanted to go to Pennsylvania, Amish country, and turn Amish. But I just don't know. Like, it would be really hard to do this without no lights on. And how would you even work the mixer? The mixer doesn't work in the dark without electricity. Ooh, this is why they make you want to turn your butter twice. Because I added in these. This wasn't part of the recipe, but holy moly. They're these white Ghirardelli chip, chocolate chips. The, the big time chocolate chips, the expensive chocolate chips, the high end chocolate chips, mix those in. Oh my Lanta, I'm telling you what it'd make you want to name your daughter Margaret. I'm telling you the truth, these things were the bomb. Okay, coming in hot because I have another question. How do they bake them without electricity? I'm just, I need to Google that. Hold on, I'm going to go Google that and I'll be right back and I'll tell y'all. Okay, so come to find out here on the screen, you can see they got a wood burning stove that they do a lot of their baking in and they do something, do something with their pies in the icebox. I'm not sure how that works out. Right now, I'm trying to icebox my cookie dough because I'm trying to freeze it. I don't know if you're allowed to or if you can or if the FDA approves of that. But that's what I'm trying to do. But yeah, they and they also says they use their arm at the speed of a hand mixer, which I tried that one day and almost threw my arm out. That's why they got muscles. y'all y'all look at these oh man they were the bomb and they were so fluffy and light like they wasn't like dense cookies they were look at this right here they were fluffy don't forget to joke go go don't forget don't forget to go check out katie and jesse's channel they'll be linked below go watch my other video it'll also be linked below hope you'll have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at